A Navy veteran who fired an assault rifle into another veteran's home, nearly killing the victim, is headed to prison for the rest of his life. A judge handed down the unusually heavy sentence after a hearing how the gunfire forever changed Jeremy Timon's life. In a story you will only see on News 4, the victim is so. and, uh, He was, he was, he had just met this chick. Yeah, the one oh, girl. Oh, I do yeah. remember yeah, and he had went over, he like brought her over or something, and that guy followed her and like shot into the home and fucked this guy. She, she failed to mention he had a she had a fucking psycho boyfriend, stalker ex. Yeah, man, she was getting around to it, but she's probably gonna break it to him later on that day. His life. <laughs> He's story, on News 4, the victim and his family spoke with Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey. For more than six years, Jeremy Timon has waited and worried about this day, the day the man who nearly killed him would be sentenced. Here's where it happened. You got one, two, uh, three was over here. This was Jeremy last spring, showing us the bullet holes left behind in October of 2017 when Jay Young Lee fired an assault rifle into Jeremy's townhome, leaving Jeremy critically wounded. Lee had been stalking an ex-girlfriend and learned Jeremy was helping her buy a car. Lee turned his gun on Jeremy. The Marine He was helping her buy a car, so he wasn't... He wasn't even smashing. He was just being like a good guy, maybe trying to, you know, you do something nice for a hot girl to try to like get her to smash. And that never really works. Like it, it rarely works. It works sometimes. <laughs> Usually you don't catch a hot one in the skull. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Worst case scenario, you don't get none. Yeah. But this one, though. Look how, um, like, brolic he was. He was, look at his face. He was a very, you know, square jaw. Um, yeah. shoulders and everything, and now he's all scrawny. I mean, for what happened to him, he looks remarkably good. Yeah. He, this is the guy that did that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> the, tag, the tag is out of control. Yeah, man. He jealous motherfucker, you. Lee had been stalking an ex-girlfriend and learned Jeremy was helping her buy a car. Lee turned his gun on Jeremy, the Marine and Army veteran who'd been to Iraq, suffered catastrophic injuries in his Damn own man. home. Two bullets went through my abdomen. One severed my stomach almost clean off. There's a giant void in my brain, big black spot. And it's about, I lost approximately 10 to 15% of my brain matter. Today in court, Jeremy and his family describing the life-changing impact the crime has had on their lives. Because of the damage to his organs, Jeremy cannot eat or drink. Oh, his parents, now 80, are spending their retirement years as full-time caregivers. His 80-year-old par parents are spending their retirement years as full-time caregivers. Shout out to mom and dad, man. Parents are... Yeah. That's, yeah, yo, know, man, that's 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 the beauty of having parents, man, that love you, man. Well, yeah, parents um, that don't suck anyway. Yeah, these some good parents. They're 80 years old doing this shit, but they probably ain't got nothing else to do. But still, um, yeah, nonetheless, it's still a, a great thing to do. That's fucked. He but this, this guy, eat. he can't eat. Yeah, eat normal food. That's he has to have crazy. everything intravenously. Or in oh, how okay. much we love to eat. Man. Yeah, like, I know. know that, but, Oh, yeah. that's, one of, that's one of my favorite things, man. Yeah. <laughs> Stole yes. one of life's greatest pleasures away from this guy, maimed him for yeah. life, left him in the care of his parents who will eventually pass on. And, like, this is yeah. a fucking tragedy. The, the yeah. idea of never, like, tasting food again or, like, eating, like, you know, a pizza or, like, a, like a taco. It oh, just doesn't man. Care. I know. You need a goddamn like... Korean exclusion act or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back Asian hate, make Asian hate great again. Think about this this girl though, like, Jim Lee Crow. She she's out there now, and she's just living her life. Like she probably doesn't even write this guy like to see how he's doing. Yeah. It. Which listen, <laughs> listen, hold on, listen though. She shouldn't. She was just trying to get him to help her buy a car. She's a dumb young girl. <laughs> yo, she's yo. a young airhead. She. She's like, I don't know how to do this. And he's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't see her there, like, helping to care for him, weirdly. Look, at, at the very yeah. least, at the, I think she should at least throw him one time. Give it to him one time. Just, you know, off the street. At strength, least. You know? Better. Uh, he probably can't do that either. Yeah, like, the you're right. shit is fucked up. 
But look, that's fine. She can figure something out, but she got better make it happen. That's the least she could know. Yeah, but it, it's like I, I can't really knock her for that because it's not like she was seeing him. It was just like a chance, like encounter and shit. You know what I'm saying? Deep, deep. I, 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 I'm assuming she was a tiger. You know how these gliders are, you know? Go for the I, tigers. I, I think they had a picture of her in one of the videos, man. I, but um, I think she was like um, Middle Eastern or something like that. Almost clean off. There's a giant void in my brain, big black spot. And it's about, I lost approximately 10 to 15% of my brain matter. Today in court, Jeremy and his family describing the life-changing impact the crime has had on their lives. Because of the damage to his organs, Jeremy cannot eat or drink. His parents, now 80, are spending their retirement years as full-time caregivers. Jeremy's promising career as an analyst for a defense contractor ended. The judge clearly moved, telling the family, quote, it's absolutely extraordinarily devastating. I don't have words for it. He then sentenced Lee to life in prison plus 48 years. That was six and a half years of, of weight lifted and uh, the, the appropriate close of this chapter, this horrific chapter of my life, our life, my family, everybody included. He deserves it yeah. as far as I'm concerned. There's no excuse for it. There's no excuse for what that man did. And what's next for Jeremy Timon? The hope that he will be a candidate for a multi-organ transplant to replace his pancreas, his stomach, and his intestines. So Please that someday God. he might be yeah. able to eat and drink again. My life's forever changed. Wow. It'll never get back to where it was. But I, I think with this outcome, I can get close and be, be me again. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey. News 4. Wow. Wow. Salute to Hot, um, hot Fire. He says, the system has done a great job in blurring the line between actual... Oh, yeah, that's the last one. Um, S. Freak says, I honestly think it's another ploy to create division between the sexes to more ultimately help lower the birth rate and destroy the family. I don't know if it's that deep, if this Me Too stuff is that deep. I think Me Too comes around every election season. It was invented for Donald Trump in 2017 after he got in. But then it came back in 2020 for election year, and now it's coming back 2023, 2024. It started at the end of last year, really heavy, hot and heavy with everybody. And, the, the, and, it's, and it's crazy because guys like this guy, think about this guy, right? He got fucked over in this situation with this girl. Yes, this guy, this, this Asian guy was really like one of those Me Too guys. He was really a Me Too guy. Like he was stalking this chick and showing up at people's houses that she just like had just met and was just, you know, and she just, hey, older guy, can you help me buy a car? Oh, sure, come on over. No, no, no. And she he shows up and shoots into the house. That's real shit that women go through. All these lies they're perpetrating on these other people, man. It's disgusting, man, and it's sickening, man, when you got real guys like this out there, and a lot of them know that guy. A lot of women know a guy like that, and he never gets, um, this guy went down for murder, but he didn't go down for me, too. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, I, I think that guy who got shot, I think he's putting up a good, like, face in front of the cameras, but I mean, he's got to be going through some major depression. For the rest of his life, what you know, how it's changed. Oh yeah, I mean, six I would. Years? Think about it, man. Six years. Like he, 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 this is not nothing new to him. This is he. This happened six years ago. He's 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 dealt with it. Think about it. I mean, he hasn't eaten in six years. That's that's punishment. You talk about punishment. He hasn't eaten in six years. He has his hat, man. He, he can't have a glass of water anymore. It's crazy, man. I don't know. Yeah, he, he, he like took his uh, he he took his like humanity type of like like he's not like I mean he's human obviously, but that the human functions he just took yeah. those out. Other than breathing, you got breathing, you got eating, you got shitting. So here's my shit. thing: C couldn't we just take this 
tiger stomach and shit and put it in him. Like that seems like a just reward. <laughs> that's what they do yeah. in China. And yeah, like, that's a good idea. That seems justified in this instance. Oh, <laughs> Not usually for that's a great idea. Thing, but like this seems apropos. Yeah, that guy gets to eat like all the hookups, all the prison hookups with the noodles and the Doritos and shit. He's in there pigging out, man. That, yeah, that, until that he becomes deranged from the tiger's organs. Yeah, man.